Hello, hello, Kareen here, coach and mentor for highly sensitive people and creator of the program Synchronize Your Life. Today is day 14 of the Feel Lighter in 21 Days experiment. So welcome. <clears throat> so day 14, the experiment for today is to make it fun. Because really, why would we do anything if it didn't bring us some level of joy? Okay, even even looking in our shadow, right? I would say me going into my shadow, me diving into my shadow, it's it's going to bring me joy on the other side. Okay, so whether you're doing something like looking at your shadow or which something I'm about to do, which is a networking event here in Honolulu, um, I'm going to make it fun. Okay, so uh, the other day um, there's an event that got, you know, I got invited to this event. It's going to be one of the largest networking events um, on Oahu. And something in my heart was telling me to go, okay? I didn't know how I was going to get there, um, but something told me I was going to be there. And so I texted a girl that I met uh, at another, uh, it's a Holistic Chamber of Commerce networking event, and I said, hey, are you going to go? And she's like, well, I'm feeling kind of low energy, but something, I kind of want to go, but I'm not sure if I should. So we were chatting a bit, texting a bit, and she said, well, if I have to drive you, then it'll motivate me to go. And so she said something about like, well, if I have to take care of someone else, she said it in that way, but the way I interpreted it was, well, I'm gonna do it with someone else. And oftentimes when something feels heavy, something like we don't wanna do, oftentimes we can make it fun by doing it with someone else. So that is the first example, first way that you can make something fun and you can make it feel lighter. So going to this networking event, she's going to come pick me up in a few minutes. Wanted to jump on here and invite you to have fun with me today. <coughs> Hi, Kiyoki. Yeah. Okay. Kiyoki wants to play. So he wants to have fun too. So I'm going to throw this to him and now I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to set him off because he's going to keep asking me to, to throw it to him. But that's okay because it's all about having fun, right? And I think that's why I, <laughs> I think that's why I have two dogs in my life because... <laughs> Right, Kiyoki? You like to have fun, yeah? Eh? Oh, no. Do you want me to throw it? It's all part of the fun. It's all part of the fun when you have to pull it away at the right time. <laughs> um, so, so today we're having fun, okay? If you want to feel lighter, make it fun, okay? And if something feels really heavy or boring or you just don't want to do it, like, your taxes, okay, it's not tax season right now, but say you're thinking about this during tax season, all you have to do is ask yourself, how can I make this fun, okay? Or even how can I make this simple? Oh, I got it, I got it. Go get, go get it. All right, so make it fun. Ask yourself, how can I make it fun? So in the comments below today, I want you to write something that feels heavy in your life. Something that you've been resisting, how about that? What have you been resisting? Okay, we're all resisting something. Whether we're resisting having a conversation we don't want to have, or we're resisting doing a task on our to-do list, or we're resisting shining light on a heavy feeling that we have. Okay, all you need to do is ask yourself, how can I make this fun? This is how we're going to feel lighter today. Practice having fun. So I just want to welcome Katie into the call. Hi, Katie. Nice to see you here joining me. <laughs> Today we're having fun, and I'm playing with Mr. Kiyoki. Drop it. No. <laughs> okay. So in the, in the description for today, um, I shared with you guys that the last time I went to Hawaii in 2010... When I got back from Hawaii, it was January 2011 then, um, it was a really hard time for me because after being around all this stimulation all the time of like beauty and amazingness and magic and ah, oh, there's just like so much high sensation seeking fun, coming back to New York in the dead of winter um, was probably the hardest thing. And Frank was leaving for vet school. Um, I literally did not know a single person because I hadn't lived in, in that town that I grew up in since um, high school. So I had already gone through college. And 
I didn't have anything. Like I didn't have a job. Um, I would just recently um, got my health so coaching certification. So I didn't really know how to have a business. I didn't have any foundation under me. I didn't have any clients yet. So I remember I was just constantly on my computer typing, typing all these ideas that I had, trying to get some clarity. Okay. And oh, like I realized that a lot of times I was just spinning my wheels and going in circles. And I was starting to feel really depressed because I wasn't going outside the house. I was not eating too much. And I was on the computer a lot, okay? And I was in the dark. And for me, first of all, even though I'm an introvert, right in the middle, ambivert, I need social interaction. If I have too much alone time, then um, I'm not good, okay? <gasps> okay, I have to keep Mr. Kiyoki occupied because we're having fun today. <laughs> Okay, so <laughs> um, so need people in my life. Okay, so if you ever get depressed, ask yourself who is someone that I can hang out with. Okay, or get out of the house. Okay, so basically the message that my father gave to me was he came down the stairs, which he never did. He came to the basement and he said, Karina. I never thought I'd have to say this to you. I didn't think that you were the daughter that I had to say this to. But this is not good. You can't be in the basement all day. You need to go make some friends. Those, that last sentence, like, literally pierced my heart. You need to go make some friends. I was like, bah, I can't believe my dad is telling me to go make some friends. Hi, Sarah. Welcome. <laughs> I will say, Sarah, you were one of the first Long Island friends that I felt connected to that year that I moved back to Long Island in 2011. And that wasn't until I met you in the fall of that January. So I just want to say thank you for coming to my life. I'm so glad that we're still connected. Even though our paths are, we're, we're serving the world in different ways. Um, just so glad that we're still connected. So thank you for being here. So, <clears throat> so the day my dad said to me, you need to go make some friends. Um, of course, I, like, I actually like, I fully received that. I was like, wow, dad, thank you. I really appreciate that advice, that guidance. Um, but I didn't know what to do, okay? And of course, because I had that shift in energy, um, my cousin, a couple weeks later, um, he asked me, he's like, Karina, do you want to go hang out at a Buddhist meditation center for like a work volunteer stay? So we, so we volunteer a couple hours and we get to stay there for free. Um, so we did. And that weekend ended up leading me to actually staying there for the entire month and coming home on the weekend. And that's a whole nother day with a whole nother, you know, stories about what happened there. But um, it, it really got me out of the house, and it actually brought up some shadows for me that I need to look at in the form of other people. I met a really dark person, and he was showing me a shadow of myself, a very low vibration shadow that I needed to look at for myself. I needed to set a boundary with. But anyway, so sometimes coming out of the hole, the first people that you meet, you know, maybe they're not the best people to be connecting with, but at least you're out of the hole, okay? Keep looking. Because the key is, I wasn't very clear on the type of people I wanted to connect with. I wasn't really clear. I didn't know. I didn't have any boundaries, really. But the key is, you need to say what you don't want. You need to say what you do want. Okay. And if you haven't yet gotten my feel, um, if you haven't yet gotten the how to create your vision and thrive as a highly sensitive person audio, make sure you go to my website. Um, that audio is going to help you get really clear on, for example, people that you want to bring into your life, so that you're not attracting people who are going to continue to keep you in this dark hole. Okay, today, make it fun. How can you make it fun? Okay, and, uh, you know, sometimes it's like, fake it till you make it. You know, I've kind of gone back and forth on that. Sometimes I'm just like, well, maybe just sometimes I just want to stay in my, um, my pajamas, right? Have those days. Stay in your pajamas. Relax. But if it's getting to be a little too long, that's when you know you need to make it fun. Okay, give yourself a limit. You can feel bad for yourself. I, my mom always likes to say, all right, Karina, you can feel bad for yourself for one more hour. But after that, you need to get out of the house. You need to go talk to someone. Okay, so again, even this last year, me moving back to New York for the second time, um, I didn't really make any effort to make any friends. <clears throat> it took until that August and asking myself, okay, I need to get out of the house. I need to make some friends. <clears throat> I need to meet people. So that August, I remember, I saw an event for 
a friend of mine. I'm not sure if she's here. No, she's not. But hi, Kim, if you end up watching this. Um, Kim and I went to high school. She's a year older than me. And she opened up a yoga studio on Long Island. And, you know, our paths, you know, maybe we're like all over here. We both lived in Hawaii. And somehow just we connected at the right time because um, she had an event going on. It was like a new moon event, I think. And I went there. And I was actually kind of nervous. I was scared. I was like, oh, no, what if it's, you know, I don't know what I thought. But the whole point is that I went. It was like a 45-minute, 50-minute drive because I live out east. But I went there. And I got there, and I literally felt my roots drop into the earth. I felt safe again. I felt like I was with my people. I felt nourished. I felt I could be myself. All those feelings of not enough, needing to prove myself, they all lifted. The key is, is that I felt safe. And I think that's oftentimes something that helps us pull ourselves out of a really dark state, is knowing that you have other people around you. And I think other people, at least for me, have helped me feel safe. Maybe there's some people who don't make you feel safe, but if you haven't experienced that yet, continue to look for those people. Continue to look for that community. Okay, listen for the energy. If it doesn't, if it doesn't resonate with you, keep looking. Okay, because it, I think it's very important for every highly sensitive person to be connected to a community. So I just want to say thank you, Kim, for being another friend that has come into my life in New York. Even when I thought there would be no other highly sensitive people, other empaths, other people on their journey really here to serve the world. Um, thank you for being there. Thank you for being that light for me. Okay, so get out of the house. If you need me to say it, go make some friends. Okay, and make it fun. That, that's today's experiment. Day 14, make it fun. Whatever it is, ask yourself, how can I make this fun? Okay, so before I go, I have one last annou announcement. Um, the, the, the next couple days, I'm going to be sharing this a little bit more, but I have, an, I have a webinar event coming up towards the end of our 21-day series. Okay, I'm not going to give you the information yet, but just stay tuned. Tomorrow, I'm going to have more information about it, about how you can register. Okay, we're going to be a, web a webinar. I'm going to go uh, into the subject of how to bring your vision to reality. Okay, so I've been seeing how much there's so many people. I talk to people all the time and they have such amazing ideas. It's highly sensitive people, right? We're visionaries. A lot of us are visionaries, but we get in our own way. We get overwhelmed. We're confused. We are frustrated. We're, we have so much fear. Okay, the webinar is going to teach you. It's going to give you the step-by-step -step process and how to get out of your own way so that you can bring your vision to reality. Okay, and how you can receive support through it all. All right, so to stay tuned for tomorrow. Um, I will be sharing more about how to register for that, but I wanted to plant the seed so you can be on the lookout. All right, thanks for being here. Have some fun today. I'm gonna go have some fun as well at this networking event. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.